Hello all, welcome to oratronics.com. In this lesson, we'll discuss about two samples of SQL loader. The first one is loading multiple files into single table, and another one is loading single file into multiple tables. Okay. So let's start with the first example. So as we know that like before designing control file, we have to understand what is the content of data file. Okay. So as per our requirement, what are we trying to do is we want to load a CSV data file and it is of n number, nothing but like I have around four data files of CSV format and I want to load them into a table and using a control file, I need to design the logic. Okay. So let me open my EMP multiple CSV loader control file first and also I'll show you the data file. So this is my multiple CSV loaded data file. So in this one here, if you observe, I have mentioned four data files like um, with the name EMP data one dot CSV and two dot CSV similar, similarly three and four. Okay. Now, if you just see the observe the content of this one, so I just have three employees for each file. Okay. So like like this, and in the three in the third file I have 31, 32, 33, and in the two second file 21, 22, 23. Similarly. 11 to well in the other file okay and in the fourth one 41 42 43 now the next thing is so overall i have three employees for each file and total 12 employees and what i'm doing is i want to load them into a table called xx or imp so this table structure is similar to the normal hrm like uh, the emp table so if at all if you already have a emp table you can just simply create this table with the this name or you can use the emp table also no worries Okay, let me show you the content of my table, XX or IMP. So as of now, let's see whether I have the content in this one. Okay, as of now I have the content, what I'll do is, I'll just remove them, delete from, okay. So, okay, just see the data now. Okay, all the records are deleted. And the next thing what I want to do is, yeah, let us see the content of this control file. So the first first tag, we know it like load data. The, that's the first keyword you have to use in the SQL order control file. The next thing you have to mention the in file, nothing but the list of data files. If you have single file, you can just mention only one file. But in our case, we want to discuss the multiple sample, multiple, multiple data file sample. So I mentioned multiple data files. And what I want to do, I want to append them into a table called append into table or IMB. And after that, here if you observe, I mentioned when EMP not equal to single course EMP number. So why I have this? Why I have mentioned this one is so I wanted to design my CSV file such a way that the first line will have the column names. So I'm expecting that the column column names are available in my CSV file as a first line. Okay. If at all, if I use option skip is equal to one, generally, like if at all, if you want to skip the first line, what you can do is you can just use option skip is equal to one, but that will skip the first line of the only first data file that will skip only the first line of the first data file it will not bother about the remaining data files that is why what i have done is so we know that emp number will be never equivalent to this particular value right so this is my database column name this is a content of the this is the content of the csv file okay so this will be never be equal to this one that is why if this is not equal to this one what i'll do is i'll simply load them and I mentioned all the column names, okay? Now the next task is like, uh, we have seen the data file, we have seen the control file, and the next next task is we have to move these particular files to my database application server, or database server, I can say. So I'll go to my win CP. So I'll just choose the appropriate location. So I just need to move the four data files, one, two, three. I'll move them to this location in a text format, and also move the control file. This also preferably text format. Now go to the present working directory. I am in this location. SQL LDR control is equal to EMP multiple files control file. User ID is equal to database username password. Okay. Now we just mentioned some information. So it says commit point reached 16 because each is having four rows and four into four 16, but it, would have, it should have loaded only four, uh, it should have loaded only 12 records because in each particular file, we have the first row which should be skipped, right? Just see the log file first, okay? Now, can you see? Okay, 12 rows loaded successfully. Four rows not loaded because when clause were failed, okay? Now just see whether you have any 
bad condition bad file no right here it has generated only log file that's it right now go to the database and just check the content of this one can you see i'll just mention order by one so that we can see whether we have all the information or not okay got it 11 12 13 similarly 21 22 23 similarly 31 and the other one is 41 42 43 so we have loaded 12 records what we have what we have done we just simply mention the list of multiple data files and mention the logic okay this is the first sample which we want to discuss okay we'll get back to the second one now so i'll close this content okay and the second one what i want to do is i want to load content of single file into multiple tables okay there are chances you know like in some of the source system what will happen is they will share you only one particular file and but they want the data to be loaded into multiple tables like uh, based on a particular flag in a particular column let us say the first column in the the first column in each line will have, will specify whether it has to be loaded into the header or whether it has to be loaded into the lines this is a general requirement which occurs in many of the projects okay but in my case i'm not discussing about the very complex structure i just want to discuss very simple one okay in our case what we want to do is we just want to load a single file into multiple table right so let us see what is the sample so i'll just open my control file okay multiple tables loader so here if you observe what i have done is my data file name is dpt data.csv just see the content of my data file first so in this one i just have four records okay four lines i can say and if the location is hyderabad i want to load it load it into one table if the location is chennai i want to load into another table so you can consider this as your particular flag the first column is my flag which specifies into which table i need to load it that's why you can you know that is how you can design your table structure similar in a, in a different manner okay what i have done here is here i have mentioned if the location so what is this location column this location column is part of this dpt table right location column is equal to chennai or chn whatever it is then load the data into orato table and if at all if the location is equal to hyderabad load into this table and here if you observe the important information i mentioned position is equal to one you have to mention this one explicitly else what will happen is wherever wherever you know like uh, the final like a uh, see what will happen is for each and every record for each and every record it will validate this data okay if if it once iteration once iteration is over it will come here but what will happen is if the iteration is over at this place what will be left over to the next one nothing will be left over right so let us say you have 10 records in your file and the first one will get the first particular append into logic this into logic will get iterated for the 10 records once the 10 records are over what will happen your file content is over and nothing will be inserted into this one okay it would have inserted only the matching matching logic matching data into this first table what will happen to the second table nothing will be inserted that is the reason what will happen is once this is over you have to reiterate it this position once is not this position one is means you want to reiterate the total content so that whatever the records which are valid which are valid for this particular condition this will get inserted into the table appropriately okay now what we'll do is like we'll just move the relevant files what we have to do one data file and one control file right where is that go to this one department csv and multiple table loader text okay and before running it just see the content of the data file uh, table xx or uh, one dpt is having some data i'll delete it and this table structure is similar to the dpt table okay you can just simply create them appropriately okay commit it now just run this one no content run this one no content right now go back just clear this one just run the query so here i'll just change my control file name okay can you see commit point reach four just rerun the query it should have two records it should have two it also has the two records let us try to see add up some more content i'm just deleting this data now again commit it 
So I'll change my data file content. I just want to see whether it is getting loaded properly or whether I want to see the latest information also, right? Let us say I will add up some more records into this one. 50, 60, okay. Work. Seventy, okay. I'll just say OEM in AP, something like this. Now, I'll just, so what we have to do? We have changed the data file so that so you have to copy your data file again from your local system to server, okay. Now, always, you know, like uh, just to validate whether data is getting loaded properly, clear up your table and just insert it, okay? Now, just rerun. Okay, now three records here, four records here, right? So it is inserting perfectly. So this is how you can deal this logic, you know, like these two logics in the SQL loader. Thank you.